And if you are seeking the Lord for the gifts of the Spirit, and you're seeking Him for the baptism of the Holy Spirit, then I think it's really important that um, you gather with other Holy Spirit-filled, Holy Spirit-baptized believers. Uh, Pentecost is coming up. And, you know, that's what happened on Pentecost when the disciples were in the upper room gathered together praying. The Holy Spirit came in and rested on them like a whirlwind of fire. And they began to pray in other tongues. And um, so ask the Lord to lead you to other Holy Spirit filled believers um, in person is ideal. Um, he, he may connect you um, with a church or a prayer group online, but it's so important that we don't neglect to gather in the last days, as the Bible says, as is as will be the habit of many. And so gathering with the body of Christ is obedience. Gathering with the body of Christ and taking communion with the body of Christ is obedience. And, and that's, our, that's our highest form of, uh, of worship. Um, and so, I mean, and that's my testimony too. It was in gathering with other Holy Spirit baptized believers that the gifts of the Spirit then began to flow in my life. Um, so, um, God, uh, God really honors our obedience when we come together. And even since then, in gathering with other Holy Spirit filled believers, God will continue to pour out his gifts of the spirit because that's how we edify the body of Christ. That's how we build each other up through prophetic words or words of knowledge. And, you know, there are so many gifts of the spirit that are listed in the Bible. There's so many different ones. None higher than love, though. We, it is said that we will be known as God's people by our love for, for one another. That is the highest gift there is because if we you know, as Paul says, speak in the tongues of angels or prophesy and fathom all knowledge, knowledge and mysteries, but we have not love. We, we have nothing. We have nothing. And so gathering in a Holy Spirit filled believer setting where love is evident, Christ like selfless love for one another, where we, where people are carrying one another's burdens and love. And therefore, as the Bible says, fulfilling the law of Christ, that is where you will discover, I, I believe, the power of the Holy Spirit that came at Pentecost to start to flow in your own life. And um, God is so faithful. If it's something that you want and you're seeking him with all your heart, he is so faithful to provide. Hi. There's so many cool birds, so many cool bird sounds here. Oh my goodness, it's eagles, look. Okay. I don't know how to turn it around, hang on. How do I turn, take it off of me? Okay, I don't know if you can see that sound you're hearing are two bald eagles that are right at the top of this tree right here. There they are. Two bald eagles. Those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They shall mount on wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow faint. Those who wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not grow faint. Praise the Lord. Ask him to give you songs in the spirit. He will. He will. He wants to sing over his bride. It says in Zechariah 3.17 that the Lord exalts over his people with, the, with loudness of singing. And so, like, whether you have a good voice or not, obey the Lord. It says, it says in his word, I got to put these eagles, these are better view than I am. Um, it says, Paul tells us to, and like, this is an act of obedience to, 
greet one another in spiritual songs and hymns, it says. Um, there's another passage that talks about how we are to greet the brethren, um, and, and song and hymn is a part of that. And so if you ask the Lord to give you songs, he absolutely will, because he is so looking for people to, I think, obey this oft to forgotten, um, commandment, really. Like, that's not... That's not a song that I could just make up. I couldn't just make that up on the spot. That's that's your God who loves you singing over him, over you. He's exalting over you because you, if you are in Christ, are His beloved. That's Him. That's that's not me. I I don't just I don't just make up songs like that on the spot. That's the spirit of the Lord speaking freedom, speaking his freedom and his love to his bride, to you. Thank you, Jesus. Love these duckies. <laughs> Look how cute. Oh, <laughs> they're, gee, they're fat. They are fast. Oh, mama's, mama's got a word. Look how sweet, they are so little. See those eagles again. There he is. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. The Bible says that if people, when people cease to proclaim the Lord, to worship the Lord, that even the rocks will cry out. And list, I listen to the birds and just how faithful they are to sing the praises of the Lord. He says, I do not let a single sparrow fall from my hand apart from my purposes. Fear not, you are of much more value than many sparrows. And we listen to the birds sing, and they don't stop. They do not stop preaching. Or they do not stop praising Him. So we better not be silent. We who have been offered salvation and the inheritance of the kingdom of heaven, who were, who were given... God's one and only begotten Son on the cross, that we might inherit the kingdom, that we might inherit forgiveness, salvation, eternal life, and His righteousness, because we are not. Oh, let us sing. Let us sing and praise and proclaim Him louder than the birds, louder than the eagles, and certainly louder than a rock. I mean, come on. But that's the spirit of the Lord. That's just him. That is the fruit of God. When we are filled with the spirit, we can't help but overflow with just gratitude and, to, and a desire to pro proclaim him and, and to worship him and to praise him. No matter where we are, no matter who's listening, um, we, just, we just have an audience of one and that's him. And 
he's very clear in his word about what pleases him. And so, um, you know, the, the more we're faithful to obey him, the easier, the, the easier it gets, those, those muscles kind of develop and, and, and those fears and insecurities begin to lose their power over us until they're just, they're gone. Um, praise the Lord for that.